Hi you guys, it's Eclectic Style from Mama Shatai and I wanted to show you my packing process. So this is a cute tote that my husband bought me. And it flips out. And two. A cute bag. And so that's what I ship my items in when I have just the little small items. Okay, so my first order, I shipped those already, but I got a week order, so that's what we're going to pack. And this is the wig Kiki, so. Make sure the air is out, air bubbles are out. And then I just going to wrap it like this. And I use washi tape that I purchased. And that's the first week order. I also put a cap and a freebie. And I'm gonna put this at the bottom. Cause I'm just gonna put it in a bag. So next what I have is some ribbon. I'm going to wrap the whole thing around. And this is just really cute ribbon that I bought from the Dollar Tree. And now we have this cute little card that I'm going to DIY. And it's just really, really simple. You can pretty much, I just write thank you. Open it up. All right, I know you will slay in this wig and then I'm going to write, please leave a sweet note. And that's going to be it for this order. I'm going to close it up with the same washi tape. That was a little crooked. That's okay. It's still cute. And I have so much going on here, y'all. So 
I got another thing of washi tape. I really like my packages to be heavily decorated. So, any way I can decorate my packages, DIY them, get my crafty groove on because I'm like super, I'm into crafty stuff. So, this is right up my alley to DIY and craft stuff. <laughs> so, I just do that. I do the ribbon and that will be it for this order. Now I'm going to put it in my poly mailer. And that's it. And now I'm going to put the um well I'll do that later. So because I don't want it to be like on the camera. So I'm gonna do this one later. Okay, so the next thing that I have is a bundle of boy baby items. So yeah. So this is what I sold so far. I've got this cute little top. A lot of stuff from like Children's Place, let's say Carter's, Health X. Um, this should be Carter's, yep. Just really cute. I got, she also bought these really cute Nike shorts that I was totally obsessed with when my baby was little. I got this little Ralph Lauren. Keep calm and call granny. Cute little onesie. So yeah, a little Nike. So yeah, she bought all of this. So we're just going to be packing this up. So I'm just going to do the same method pretty much. And I'm going to be putting this in a box, so I'm not going to show, um, you know, how I put it in there because it's too big <laughs> for my little workstation I have here. So let's see if that fits. No. Take one out. Use a little bit of tape. And I always fold these ends because it makes it look way neater <laughs> than if you were just to fold it over like that. It just looks so much better when you do that, to me, in my opinion. So that's one. There's my kids in the background playing. Hopefully they don't start crying. I always have to like stop and <laughs> when I do the videos. But hey, that's mom life. That's what happens when you're a mama, which is a-okay. But hopefully I can get this video done. So I also use washi tape. Sometimes you guys, I will fold over just because it's more functional to do it that way but for the most part I try to you know see it, it won't work if I was to fold it over the other way I'd have to fold it this way in order for it to work so it just depends And I love, love, love the packing process of everything. I'm like obsessed with it. 
I just love to make my packages so cute and so neat because I love to get packages in the mail that's so, wrapped so cute and wrapped so neat and it just does something it makes you feel in my opinion special you know like oh I got a present in the mail no you just ordered something but it's cute the last of this order. This tape is more sturdy than washi tape. That's why I'm using it. It's because I didn't mean for this video to be that long, but it just has so happened that it is. So, I'm trying to hurry up. But yeah, this is my packing process and just a tip, a Poshmark tip, is just make sure your packages are cute. Like, literally, people see the effort that you're putting into your packages. So, I'm going to check my, I got my little receipt for her. Okay, so now I have an earring order from my boutique on Poshmark. And so let's go ahead and pack that. And I keep moving this camera. I'm so bad at it. Okay, so she purchased four earrings. She purchased those. And this is going to be her car, and it's just going to say the same thing. Thank you. Please leave a sweet note, and I'm going to write that after this video because it's already so long. I have this cute little pad, and I just do like a lot of little creative things sometimes <laughs> or should I say I try to and it's really just based upon my creative outlook <laughs> on things to be honest because you really don't have to do all of this but I just do it because I love crafting and I love creativity so it's fun for me to do these types of things like I'm okay. obsessed with it <laughs> I love the whole process of packaging you guys and just make sure I don't think I went on over the tip because they was making so much noise I can't remember but just have fun with it it doesn't have to be like so tedious and like so stressful you know, just like literally have fun with your packaging. Especially if you're a crafty person. And just if you're not, you know, meditate and think about your day. You know, think about how, you know, life. How thankful we are to have, to be alive. So much is going on in the world. So there we go. I'm also going to attach this cute little thank you note. And these are all handmade. So there we go. 
And so I have that you one. Do that. And this goes to her. Sorry, you guys. I want to package that in this cute little box. So that's one order. And so the last order I have is from Macari. And you can find me on Macari at Eclectic Style too. But I just have a wig, and this was the red one called Constance. And it's pretty much the same thing. I try to pack my wigs. Um, just another tip, Poshmark boutique tip or a wig owner tip. Like try to package your DIY packages like as professional or as neat as you can because you know, even though you may try to get your creativity on, this is still your business. And you represent your business. So let's say you blow up from selling wigs and stuff, you know. And that's just for people who, you know, who do the DIY like I do. Because I love doing the DIY part of it. So. So yeah, you guys, this is just me showing you my process in real time because sometimes it's just relaxing to see people pack. Maybe that's without all the talking though. I don't know. Look, I'm trying. <laughs> so yeah. And I know I watch videos like this and it's like really helpful, especially if you're trying to do something affordable because sometimes, you know, during this time, no screaming, you guys. During this time, it's really, really hard to, you know, for some people, funds are really hard now. Money is hard to come by, and sometimes it's so good that people make those videos for resellers or for boutique owners, and just another way of packaging affordable items, you know. Okay, you guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Mama Shy Tai. There's, sorry for all the screaming, but there's tons of stuff coming to this channel about mom boss. You know, I do have a chronic illness, so I'll have videos on that and just how to casually sell and make money on Poshmark. Mm -hmm. We're not talking about going and buying this stuff and selling for $50 a pop. No, but if you sell 10 of those items or five of those items, you know, it all comes out in the wash pretty much and how to do that how to casually sell I make sales pretty much every other day pretty much I am a part-time reseller I don't say that though because my health is ups upside down sometimes and sometimes it's right side up it just does not it just depends but so there's a lot of videos coming to this channel and also recipe videos you know allergy free so yeah if you and crafty videos, I have other videos on how to make those little card envelopes. And my last video is about a haul that I did from Goodwill. So go check it out. Anyway, you guys, have a great day. Toodles.